Hey guys, and welcome to Jase no In, The Serpent's Lust. Now, I don't know much about this game, but it's apparently about uh, Japanese uh, supernatural stuff, and I love supernatural things, and I thought this would be a fun game to play. Let's start. Once long ago, there was a young woman named Agata no Minago, who lived with her family in a small village far away from the capital. The Agata family were humble weavers, yet they enjoyed their trade very much. Minago, the only daughter, was extremely skilled with the trade. Her father and mother encouraged her to focus on her craft, and because of her hard work, she did not spend much time socializing like other young women her age. As a result of this, she was pitifully ignorant of the world outside of a weaver's bleh, side of a weaver's loom. On a dull overcast day, Minago had just finished running an errand for her mother. As she began her return home, the clouds split open, and a torrent of rain and wind attacked her from above. The rain is so strong, I need to get home as soon as possible. Oh, how stupid it was of me to forget to bring an umbrella. Excuse me, is anyone home? No, they must be busy. Oh, Minago, you're, you're bothering all the scared people. Hello, is anyone there? I just need to borrow an umbrella. The rain must be too loud. I don't think anyone can hear me. I might have to find a tree or something to hide under. This rain's so strong it feels like it could drown me. Uh... Oh? Who are they? Why would anyone else be out in the rain like this? Master, look! There's a girl caught in the rain. How pitiful. What are you doing out here during a storm like this? Don't you have an umbrella? Unfortunately, I don't. I was just about to find a tree to hide under until the rain clears up. Hide under a tree? Nonsense. Dear maiden, shall I escort you home? My servant has a spare umbrella for herself, so we may share the one I have now. Oh no, that won't do. I wouldn't want to be such a burden to someone of such noble stature as yourself. Don't pay me any mind. I insist. Nobility means nothing. If a man cannot... I thought... Okay, if a man can't help a woman in distress, and you're completely drenched to the skin... Shimahebi, get the spare umbrella. I wish to escort this fair maiden home tonight. Yeah, my lo Yes, my lord! <laughs> Ow. Now, let's get out of this rain. In which direction is your house? It's to the west, down this road. Very well, let us go then. Okay, let's go. Nothing to see here, just uh, party three. This is really nice. This game is really pretty. Once again, thank you so much for going out of your way to escort me home. I'm... I'm so very grateful. Ain't no mind. It may be unforward of me, but I wish the walk had lasted longer. Despite the rain, the small time we spent together was wonderful. I admit, I enjoyed walking with you as well. But I must not keep you any longer. I would hate to have you mistaken for a... caller. Such a nobleman as yourself should not be seen with such a lowly weaver's daughter. Do not worry. I'm not concerned about the thoughts of others. However, me and Shimahebi must return home now. As a parting gift, please borrow the umbrella that we walked under tonight. Something tells me it will be quite an overcast day tomorrow. Oh no, I could not accept such a gracious gift. You're so kind, but I'd hate to be... Well, I'd hate to part you from your umbrella, your precious umbrella. I insist. Shimahebi has the spare umbrella, and the thought of you in the rain without one is quite upsetting to me. Shimahebi, please give her the umbrella. Right away, master. Got the snake eye umbrella. Spooky. Thank you. I'm incredibly grateful. Unfortunately, I must go now. Before you go, may I ask where you live? Once the rain has stopped, I'll return your umbrella immediately. My home is through the forest. Ask at the east road in the village for the house of 
Hebi gawa no hakuja. Good night and farewell. Good night and thank you. Wow, everyone's so kind in this world. That night, the thought of the nobleman in white, Hebigawa no Hakuja, lingered in Minago's mind, and when she fell asleep, she was greeted with a wonderful dream. <laughs> what? In her dream, she came across a huge mansion surrounded by ancient stone lanterns. The servant, Shimahebi, waited for her outside and escorted her in. She and the man in white spent the afternoon drinking rice wine, eating dishes, and reciting poetry, and at night he laid with her at his pillow. Minago awoke that morning, and to her surprise, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. That meant she had the perfect excuse to return the umbrella early. She was excited to see Master Hebigawa, the man in white, once again. She left for the east road leading out of the village, a skip in her step. I must take this umbrella back to that man immediately. He told me to ask for his house. Would anyone here know the way? Guess I'll just have to ask all the villagers where the mansion is. Hey, guy in the alley. Excuse me, would you happen to know where Hebigawa's house is? I'm on duty, ask someone else. Oh, you're a guard. How about you? Excuse me. Same question. Hebigawa? Sorry, never heard of it. Huh. You. I'm sorry, I'm busy with my husband. Could you try asking someone else? Okay, I'll ask your husband. Sorry, I don't know what you mean at all. Excuse me. Hebigawa's house. Sounds prestigious. Does he have... Do what the... Do we have a place like that all the way out here? Y yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know. Ah. Uh. No one... Knows about the guy that saved me. He's probably a ghost. Isn't that the old manor out in the forest? Hey. Your husband. Is that you? I'm sorry, I don't know, but maybe my wife. Oh, I see. What a strange name. Who names a house after snakeskin? Freaky. So. I feel like the guards aren't going to help me much. But, uh. I don't know, I might have to ask them all. Excuse me, do you know? Does anyone know? I did hear of an old daimyo's mansion somewhere out here. Is that what you mean? Y yes Wow. I think I heard that a trail of stone lanterns leads to the mansion just east of here through the forest. So, not many villagers know where the house is. But from what I've gathered, it's probably down this road through the forest. It is a little strange that nobody seems to know about it. Oh, it doesn't matter. I need to head east right away. Ah, uh, Jaguar. Excuse me, do you happen to know where Hebigawa is visible? Sounds really familiar. I think there was a house named something like that down the east road. Well, off I go. Into the forest, to the... Wait, because the house sat at the edge of the village, its residents must have dealt with plenty of passing travelers. Nago decided to leave them be. Oh. I mean, that would be the best place to ask, but... Whatever. For some reason, Monaco could not remember seeing stone lanterns like these along this road before. Perhaps she simply did not pay enough attention. Uh-oh. Huh, that lantern over there is shining brighter than the others. The stone lantern and its siblings were dwarfed by the size of the manor. Truly, Hebigawa House was an impressive stately mansion. Oh, it's a save file. Great. Just what I needed. You were the girl my master met last night in the pouring rain, aren't you? Yeah, that girl was me. I brought Master Hebigawa's umbrella back, like I promised. 
Oh, I think he will be very pleased to see you again. Please, come this way. Everyone's so formal in this game. It's great. Please come right this way. Master Hakuja's quarters are just through the courtyard. Please come this way. Alright, I... I... Please feel free to observe the courtyard when you're ready. What? Please take the doors to the north. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna... Can I not... Oh, I can't go back the way I came. Alright, we'll just uh, keep open around this way then. Monaco gazed into the flame and wondered if her dreams really were coming true. As opposed to the ones on the road, the stone lanterns in the courtyard were carefully maintained, clean of dirt and moss. Hmm. I? What kind of game is this? Well, I guess I'll just, uh, get in there. Master Hakuja is just beyond these doors. Master Hebigawa is right through these doors. Same. 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 Okay. Master Hakuja, the gentlewoman has come to return the umbrella and I've led her here. She's here then. Very well. Show her this way. Please. Come this way. I bring you to my master. He's not a vampire. Excuse me, Master Hebigawa. I wanted to return your umbrella, but... Am I being improper? It is rude of me to appear unannounced, is it not? And your home is so grand and I am wearing such simple clothing. Perhaps I should have brought a gift too. Maybe employed an escort as well. I'm not very familiar with such things. Now that I know where you live, I'll come back again with a proper, um, decorum. You're not going, are you? What? You still- You're not going, are you? You still have the umbrella. <laughs> Shima Heavy, do not allow her to leave. Uh-oh. Please, don't be so reserved. Right this way. Lady Agata, how endearing it is to see you fret over proper conduct in the house of a noble. You are excused. Do not feel uncomfortable about it. Seeing you in the daylight, I cannot help but be struck by your beauty. Ah, excuse me. I do not mean to be so flippant. Please let us sit down, I insist. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but I don't remember you telling you my name, Master Hebigawa. Please, you may just call me Hakuja. As for your name, you mentioned you were a weaver's daughter. While there are many weavers in the village, I could tell you are Agata no Monago, the daughter of the best weaver in the entire village. I've heard much about your family's work. How astute of you to observe that, Hakuja. I should tell my father that his name precedes him. And Monago. May I, may I call you that? Oh, um, I, I suppose that's fine, since you offered the same. Look at her blush. I want to thank you deeply for being so trustworthy as to return my umbrella to me. Shimahebi, please retrieve the umbrella from Lady Agata. Yes, Master Hakuja. Shimahebi, fetch us some sake, will you? I'm sure Lady Agata would love some rice wine to calm her nerves. Right away, Master Hakuja. Now that we're alone, I find it to be more intimate if we speak like equals. I see that you came without an escort. With someone as beautiful as yourself, I'm surprised you don't have a suitor. Ah, well, you see, I work at the loom so much, I don't have much time for gaining suitors. I think my family prefers it that way, too. Weaving as a profession takes a lot of time and dedication. We aren't well off, so the more work I do... I'm sorry, talking about weaving must be so boring to a noble person like yourself. Oh no, don't worry about that. Oh, you're, you're a delight to listen to. Besides, this talk of weaving reminds me that Tanabata is just tomorrow. What the? Tanabata is just tomorrow? Tanabata, the day where we make wishes for success, riches, love. Do you have any wishes you'd like to make this year, Monago? I completely forgot about Tanabata, Tanabababda, but it'd be so rude of me to talk about my wishes first. What might yours be? Truthfully, I'll be wishing for a wife. A wife? 
You aren't married. I was, once. What happened between her and I is too painful to recall, though. All I can say is that I left. I was left alone before I could have been a taste... What? Before I could have even a taste of married life. Oh, I'm so very sorry to hear that. It must have been difficult for you. Yes, but... Now that you're here, I... <laughs> Making the moves. Master Hakuja, I've brought the sake and some dishes as well. Ah, yes, bring them here. Oh my god. Thank you. You may leave now. How do you feel about poetry? I think it would be fun to try and recite a renga. Do you think you'll be able to match my verses? I might not be as eloquent as a noblewoman, but yeah, let's play. I'll certainly try my best. All right, let me begin. Temple bells die out. The fragrant blossoms remain. As if in a dream, Monago and Hakuja spent the day drinking, eating, and enjoying each other's company. How lucky she felt to have gotten his attention. Monago kept thinking about how strangely wonderful it was to have met Hakuja. She had never seen him or his manner before. It was as if he suddenly appeared in her life. Like a ghost. And it seemed so strange that the villagers hardly knew who or what she was talking about earlier that day. Despite her suspicions, she decided he was just a recluse. Perhaps his wife had died recently. It would explain why his umbrella that night was such a foreboding white color. Eventually, the merriment died down, and the air became thick with intimacy. She could tell he wanted to say something to her. But what could it be? Monago, if I died without saying anything, some poor god would be blamed unfairly for causing my pointless demise, so I will tell you. I'm the son of the old daimyo of this land. He died just after my wife did. With her gone, I feel like I've disgraced him. I've been a hermit without a family and an heir to my father's family name. Yet what I really want to say is, from the time I met you last night to this day we've spent in bliss, I've fallen for you, Monago. When my wife passed away, I had no reason to show my face to the world. But now, you've caused me to feel what I haven't felt a very long time. So I ask that you become my wife, Monago, and that we join together in blissful marriage. Marriage? Well, um... Did I upset you? I should have known better than to be so forward with you. Oh no, please don't feel like you've offended me. I'm just worried for you. What good is it for a nobleman to marry a weaver? There's no benefit for you. Monago, your very presence is like a gift to me. I wouldn't care if you were a princess or a beggar. Well, you certainly have a way with words. I think, perhaps... I would love to be your bride! Oh, Monago, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Let's toast to our future marriage, a vow of 1,000 years of love and devotion. Cheers. Cheers. Master Hebigawa, may I answer? What good timing, Shima Hebi. Come in. Lady Agata and I have just exchanged vows of... Wait, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Lady Agata and I have just exchanged vows of love. I wish to celebrate this occasion immediately. Go fetch that one kimono from my wife's things. That one kimono? You don't mean the one that your wife was supposed to wear. What? Yeah, that one. Go get it now. Yes, right away. Oh, I missed it. Please give it to Lady Agata Shimahabi. Got the ivory kimono. Oh, so it's white. I hope the color's not a problem for you. Oh no, it's lovely. Honestly, I did not mean to sound ungrateful. I would like to see you in it. Shimahabi, please help her put it on. Of course. Whoa, Lady Agata, please follow me. Alright, Lady Agata, let's see how you look. Oh my, that kimono looks stunning on you. Those pale plum blossoms on it complement your skin so well, too. Oh, well, I'm not very stunning, but thank you. Do you think Master Hakuja will like how I look? Oh yes, most certainly. I think the master has a special little game for you to play as well. He should be just outside this room. He'll tell you what 
What? He'll tell you what he'd like you to do. Go ahead and see him. Alright, now I got gameplay. There is a lot of talking in this game. Staggering man of moss eating women's kimono laid inside. Uh huh. Kimono box made of red lacquered wooden gold fittings. How fancy. Wait, is that door kind of opened? Mango noticed. <laughs> Minago noticed that the screen was partially open. She realized it would be very easy to eavesdrop on people if they sat right next to it. Um. Mango. I keep saying Mango! Minago tried to open the door, but at that moment it was firmly stuck shut. Um. Please don't dawdle, Lady Agata. The master gets very impatient when waiting. Uh. What? What? What's happening? Oh, wait, there's a door over here. I'm not good at this. Master Happy Guy was waiting for you. Okay, sure. Can I save anywhere? Hold on. Okay, I better save. I mean, I can't save. You look absolutely stunning, Monago. This kimono you gave me is certainly beautiful, yeah. So, being coy, I see. How adorable. As my future wife, I wish to shower you in betrothal gifts. I would also like if you would become familiar with your new home. So I devised a little game for you to play. Six of my handmaidens have been given the gifts meant for you. They will hide in the many rooms of the mansion and have you find them. Like a game of hide and seek. And what fun! All the success just for me. Close your eyes and count to ten. The game will start then. When you find all six, return to me in the courtyard. One. Okay. Now I gotta... Find the handmaidens. In the courtyard. I mean, no. In the place, and I gotta go to the courtyard when I'm done. I really have to save, though. Okay. Saving. I'm gonna end this here.